Hey guys, so welcome to the weekly vlog. So I have, I, I had made a small goal for myself not to wear makeup for 60 days because I wanted to see how it treated my face. And I will say my face feels smoother. I feel like the color of it is a little better. I do look a little red right now because I did wake up a little bit ago and I've been having some anxiety and I went to bed crying last night, so that's why I'm a little red right now. I'm just going through some stuff, but I mean, that's normal. Everyone goes through stuff, so. Today's actually day 63 of not wearing any makeup, and I figured, you know what? Sometimes makeup can make me feel better, so I should probably break that streak now. I succeeded in my 60-day no makeup wearing movement I tried to do. I don't know what that meant. So I don't even know if I remember how to do makeup because I haven't gone that long without makeup in ever, uh, probably 15 years. So let's do this thing. There's nothing in this world that I've ever needed more from you. Okay, you guys so my makeup's done I forgot how to do it like when I was doing my eyeliner my hands were shaking which is really weird because that has definitely never happened before um I don't know I feel like my eyeliner is not like even I'm so used to my face without makeup that I just really I don't know what to think it took me not as long as I expected it to I am wearing two lipsticks though that created this color and I want to say this color is a, like I actually really love this color um my top lip is really skinny and when I wear lipstick it's more noticeable I wish I was skinny so I can get lip injections I don't know I'm just beating myself apart um I was hoping that makeup would make me feel better and more cheery and more happy and not so down, but I don't think it's working this time. Might I add, <laughs> for some reason when I was filming in front of the window, my time lapse was making my face like look like a ghost slash like yellow so you guys couldn't even see me doing my makeup. So I had to sit in front of the wall literally in front of the wall you guys were propped up right here so I had no lighting when I did my makeup it was kind of challenging so we are currently at Walmart Becky needed to get a little bit of food I figured I would pick up some stuff so literally the only thing I've gotten is this for the kitchen to put dish soap I just figured it'd be easier just use that little thing um, I also got a really big container because I'm actually going to be going through my clothes and getting rid of a lot of my clothes. And then whatever shirts that I have, I'm actually going to put in this container and put in the spare bedroom. I don't have anything in the spare bedroom, so this is going to be like the first thing I have in there. Because that's just kind of like our collect-all place. Um, we keep it as neat as possible though. So I'll definitely show you guys what I mean when I get home. I might do it tonight or tomorrow, I don't know. But I really want to... Um, take my dresses out of the den but the only way to do that is to clear out my shirts which are in the closet in the bathroom it's like this whole thing I'll show you guys but um I'm super excited for that change and now I'm just obviously in the notebook and pen aisle I just picked this up permanent markers Ooh, I kind of like that setup I don't know I just I love writing I love notebooks I love art <laughs> So I've been seeing online that toilet paper is like all out and you guys look at all this toilet paper missing. I have never seen this in my life and I heard that like there's gonna be no Lysol or no bleach or anything so I'm gonna go look and see if it's gonna be like that at my Walmart. So something from here is missing. I guess Pine Sol and Lysol. Looks like some gain, some downy, uh, whatever goes there. 
the only reason why I'm showing you guys this is because these things are like never missing. This Walmart is always like completely full, jam packed. And I'm also here because I need to get some dish soap. And this is the one that I like. This is my favorite. The, and no, it's not from the color. I mean, I first got it for aesthetic reasons because it's pink, but for the last few years I've been using it because in my opinion, this is probably the best that I've ever used and it smells really good. Yep. People needed bleach, apparently. And a lot of it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, I don't blame them. I don't want to get sick either. And it looks like the rice and the beans got a hold of. See, I saw this online and I just didn't think it was like real that people were really buying all this stuff but i guess seeing stuff like this makes me wor more worried because it's like okay if the world's worried then maybe i should be more worried i don't know so as you guys know today's been hard for me mentally um you guys already watched my weigh-in video which i i wanted to do it differently than like the normal weigh-in video so i like shared with you guys like my weigh-ins from each day so you guys kind of see like what happens when I overeat or binge or whatever. So last night was the night that I binged that I talked to you guys about in the weigh-in video. And when that happens, which I explained the next day, I just feel starving. Like when I eat really healthy and I eat less the next day, I feel that where I want to continue that. But then nights that I binge, I'm like ravished the next day. So I have been... A little bit more hungrier than usual today and I'm not like up to par on my standards right now so I just want to show you guys kind of what like I'm having for dinner like when moments like this happen I'm having rotisserie chicken um, it's like garlic and herb mashed potatoes and peas so that's what it looks like I mean it's not the worst thing it's on a Big Mac which ugh, that sounds kind of good so um, yeah, I'm just like not feeling it today and I don't know. I'll definitely talk to you guys more like during my weigh-in videos about just everything. Very transparent when I mess up, when I binge, when I make a mistake, anything like that. Because that's, that's the point. That's why I want to do weigh-in videos more so you guys can see that journey and see how I get to my goal. So... I'm gonna eat now. Hey guys, so welcome to the next day. I'm gonna be doing some dishes because there's quite a few. <laughs> I'm gonna be putting away these and wow, that's mayhem. Mayhem! So I'm gonna be doing that. I actually have two appointments today. There are appointments that I dread more than anything. Um, I have to go see my psychiatrist. I love my psychiatrist, it's not about that. It's just, it gives me anxiety, it does. And I also have to do my taxes. So <laughs> those are my two appointments for today. So I'm a little busy, I have to leave in like 25 minutes. So I'm gonna do as many dishes as I can within that time frame. So I'm at my first appointment. Hi. Hi. The dread is real. Very, very real. Appointment complete. Oh my gosh. So I'm being put on another medicine because she said my anxiety has been really bad. I've been seeing her for, it's gonna be almost a year actually or it's been a year, I don't know, timelines are not my thing. I've always had anxiety, she knew that, but she was like, I don't wanna put you on anxiety medicine until your anxiety is just like over the top. And I was always just letting her like do that deciding moment for me because I'm, I don't like medicine at all. So if she feels like my anxiety's really, really bad, then like I want her to um, just decide that for herself if she feels like medicine's gonna work for me. And she was like, yeah, I think it's about time. So I'm a little nervous. Um, 
I'm hoping it helps because my anxiety keeps me up at night. I have, I don't want to like go through the symptoms, but it's just, it's been really bad. So Becky and I are actually about to go, oh my God, I hope someone's okay. Are about to go get a bite to eat. Um, I am filming a what I ate today video. So you guys actually already saw that. Um, I uploaded it on Friday, so. Ruby Tuesday is our restaurant. Restaurant. <laughs> funny. A restaurant of choice. Next appointment. Let's do this. Hey guys, so it is the next day. Yes, I've been crying. I already filmed this clip, but I was kind of crying in it. So I wanted to redo it because I don't want to cry in every single video. So there was some, um, I guess, drama on Twitter with an entertainer with the same name as me, um, Amber Lynn, but she has like a trademark on that name. And so People were doing hashtag Amberlynn on Twitter, which makes sense because they were talking about me. And this entertainer was seeing that. So she sent me a cease and assist or whatever it's called. Like I've never had someone do that to me before. So it's been like overwhelming. So I talked to her lawyer and I'm not allowed to use the name Amberlynn anymore, which is, it kind of hurts because it's like, that's one thing that's like, yours like you people can't take your name away from you you know and you guys have always known me as amberlynn everyone has known me as amberlynn like amberlynn is my name it's been my name since a little girl um my birth certificate does say amber but amberlynn has been who i am from the jump and i guess i'm just saying like if you guys could respectfully just start using amber in your videos if you do reactions or make videos about me, I know a lot of people aren't going to get the memo, but I'm Amber now. <laughs> it's so weird. So weird because I've also used Amberlynn as my trademark. I guess not legally though. I don't know. It's just frustrating. Like I'm just frustrated. Today's just not, I don't know. The last few days have just not been the greatest and I'm, it's just like every day something new. And I hate coming on here and complaining, but it's like, weekly vlog. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I also want to say, now that I started wearing makeup again, my face just looks not that great. And I realized I don't like eyeshadow that much. And I have so much eyeshadow, I shouldn't have went and bought all the eyeshadow. That's a stupid decision on my part. But anyways, um, I'm actually about to film my weigh-in video. So you guys have already seen that which ugh, that's frustrating all itself. But if you haven't seen that, please see that. I uploaded it on Wednesday. So anyways, I will, I'll see you guys later. Do you guys hear him purring? <laughs> Such a happy little boy. Oh. Oh. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I wanted to show you what I got in my boxy charm. You guys are gonna be very proud of me, but I officially canceled Birch Box. I've been saying, okay, I'm gonna cancel this, I'm gonna cancel this for months. And I never canceled it, but I finally did. This one is my favorite subscription box, so I'm excited to see what's in here. Okay, so we got a makeup remover type thing. It's very cherry clean makeup melt away cleansing balm and the brand pharmacy, but it's spelled with an F. I've actually never seen that before. You know what? I might give this a try. I'm a little nervous because last time I tried a different makeup remover, my face broke out for over a month. Next thing. Okay. I, I saw this hair and I was like, did they 
send me hair. I just got really, really confused. So whatever it is comes in this bag. No, I know what it is because I saw the package. It's a curling iron with cool tip. My hair actually does not curl at all. Um, when I got my hair done two years ago, I, okay, first of all, let's, let's rewind. So I've tried to curl my hair, I don't know how many times, and I always failed. So I thought maybe I was doing something wrong. I've also had other people try. I thought maybe they were doing something wrong. So when I got my hair done two years ago, and when it was like the ombre thing, she was like, oh my God, I can't wait to put in a curl. It's going to look so good. And I kept telling her my hair just doesn't curl. And she was like, oh, it will. It, it wouldn't. Like it was like pin straight every time she tried to curl it. So I can't use this. Okay, this is my favorite part. We always get a little eyeshadow moment. I know I said that I don't like eyeshadow as much, but maybe it's just because I kind of suck at putting it on. So this is Living in Color palette, which I love, 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 love the packaging. It's by Hank and Henry. This is so cute. Okay, let's see. Oh, 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 the mirror's broke. Okay, first of all, the eyeshadows are super pretty. I love glitter, so you guys know, like, I'm gonna be totally into that, but the mirror's broken. Oh, hey, you guys. I didn't break it, so I'm not gonna get bad luck. Whoever broke it, be safe out there. That's all I gotta say. Two more things. Um, ooh. Is this a tweezer? It says made in China. Cool. Yes, it is tweezers, which I actually needed, so that is so cool. And it's by the brand Chella. And we have ourselves a little lip gloss vintage by Jessica Libskind Skinned. I don't know. You guys, I'm not gonna lie. I've been using this table as like a catch all. Like, look how scary. Your girl is not liking that. So I'm gonna clean it. So, bam, that was satisfying. So Eric and I have been doing puzzles. So that's why there's no tablecloth. We do have this, and that's just stuff I have to write in every day, so. Y'all, wow. Wowzers, it feels amazing out here. So, Twinkie has a vet appointment today, so that's what we're about to go do. I don't understand what that accent was. I'm trying to get her to lose some. Ooh, stay right there. It was 14.0. So last time we came here, Twinkie was 16.4. Today she's 14. But the first time we ever took it took her to this vet, they have it on file that she was 17.8. Can you believe it? No. I honestly do not remember her being that big. But with my weight loss, she's losing weight. Rebecca over here. We're all just on that weight loss journey together. I'm making my smoothie. You guys, this picture right here. That's from a Walmart near us, by the way. So, I don't know what people are doing with toilet paper. They're having their best life with it though. Um, but what about us <laughs> chugging that? What about us who actually need toilet paper? Just saying, just saying. I'd much rather have a 20 piece from McDonald's. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I noticed that when I use um, makeup wipes at night to wipe off my makeup, that the next day my face is like more red than usual and my eyes are more red. I don't know if it's a thing, I don't know, but it's just something I've noticed. Anyways, my breakfast, I switched it up. We we're having two organic rice cakes and PB2, which is like a chocolate peanut butter one. If you guys don't know what PB2 is, look into it. It's amazing. It is a lot healthier than regular peanut butter and you kind of make it yourself because it comes in like powder form. So this is what it looks like. 
and we're gonna do a little taste test moment. So ready, let's go. Okay, that was delicious. I think what I like best about it is like the sweetness with the salty. Sweetness with the salty. Super freaking good. And I wanna show you guys the puzzle that Eric and I did yesterday. It's a bunch of kitty cats. It was like each one was like its own individual puzzle. So I feel like that's why I really liked it. That one's like glaring, but isn't it so cute? I love it. I want to say this one was the hardest. No, 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 definitely this one. And the easiest was this one, I think. And this one, but yeah, it was fun. Hey guys, so I really wanted to talk about this for a minute in my weigh-in video. I really wanted to be transparent and I wanted to say exactly how it went down in the week and I do plan on doing that every week. I have been judged so hard since I uploaded that video because I finally was just like, you know what? I'm just going to spill all the tea. So people are saying that I'm blaming Becky. I'm not blaming Becky. I stated several times that I was the one who chose to eat the foods that I did. And a lot of people are like, oh my god, six egg rolls. So I wanted to show you the actual egg rolls that I ate. Because I feel like when I say egg rolls, you guys imagine like actual like Chinese egg rolls. Which sound great. They're great. But it was actually this. So I'm going to put a picture up. These are Lean Cuisine egg rolls. And it comes with two servings. And I ate both of the servings for one serving is 180 calories. So that means for the whole box was 360 calories. One serving had three egg rolls. So that means I had six egg rolls. So these were the egg rolls. It was only 360 calories, which obviously is not that much. I could have totes ate that in one meal, which I do, you know, but the fact is I also had to have a ramen and I also had a brownie and that's where it was an overeating session for me because... I wasn't hungry, I was bored. And with my intuitive eating, I only want to eat when my body truly feels hungry. And during that moment, I I wasn't hungry. I'm not saying those egg rolls are bad or anything like that because I do eat them still in my like day-to-day -day life. But I kind of just wanted to explain that because a lot of people are like making a mockery out of me like binging and overeating which is in my opinion kind of sad because it's like something I'm struggling with and people are just like sending me messages and like doing hashtag six egg rolls and I'm over here just like okay hey guys so it is the next day it's super gloomy outside so the lighting in here is pretty rough I have a package let's open it together guys honestly this virus, um, I'm scared. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest here. I have a, probably a weakened immune system. I really don't know if I do or not, but it just makes sense because of my weight. And I'm just like, I'm to the point where anxiety is taking over, like taking over my body, honestly. I have. I can't function. I know there are a lot of people out there who are also like me, you know, anxiety, things like this just take over your brain and anxiety is like the only thing that you can feel and fear. That's where I'm at right now. I am consistently checking this website where it's updated around the whole USA, how many new cases we get. It's updated probably every 20, 40 minutes. As of today, Right in this moment, Kentucky has 14 cases, but the U.S. has about 2,400, which is a lot. And I know we haven't reached the peak, so let's move on to something more exciting here. So my package, I got some batteries, some triple A. Oh, no. I think I was supposed to get double A. Why am I like this? So I needed to get batteries for this. Oh no. Wait, hold on. It doesn't say on the package what batteries I need, but I'm pretty sure it was double A. So this is an Air Expect. It's a trifold LED lighting cosmetic mirror because I don't have a mirror to do my makeup out here. I always do it in just a tiny little eyeshadow palette and it just doesn't work. So... I got this. So it comes with a tray 
to put at the bottom of it. A manual. Let's see. <gasps> okay, it is AAA batteries. Woo, woo. Ooh, let's see what it looks like. Oh my God, it's so cute. And it's really not that big, which is what I wanted because my vanity is kind of small. You guys. It says right there, triple A battery not included. And then I went to go put the battery. <laughs> that's what I've been using. <laughs> like you guys are on a tripod, but that's what I've been using like to hold my tripod. That's funny. But look. In here, I tried to put the battery in, and I was like, okay, this is not fitting. And here it says double A. So I was right, it is double A. Please tell me. Please tell me. Please tell me why this is triple A. So now I have to order double A. So this is what it looks like opened. <laughs> what a mess, I swear. But I'm probably going to have to set it up on top of something while I'm actually doing my makeup so I can actually see my face. Wow. Okay. This works splendid. And here's a little power button. It is touchscreen and you can plug in your USB. I'm not sure what for, but I guess I'll learn. So every day when I wake up, my routine is the same. I'll wake up, sit on my phone for maybe 10 minutes, get up, go to the bathroom, go weigh myself, take Twinkie to the bathroom, then I get ready. Shower or from doing makeup, get dressed, like the whole shabam. And after that, I have my first meal. And then always while I'm having my first meal, I take my notebook and I sit down and I write notes for my Wednesday weigh-in video. So I just recently started the whole Wednesday weigh-in thing, you know, over two weeks ago. So usually I would just sit and enjoy my breakfast, but now like I'm productive while eating it, which for me actually makes my breakfast usually last longer. And then after that, I do dishes or just clean something that needs to be cleaned. Then I have a little bit of free time. I like to do puzzle to ease my mind, especially with my anxiety being as bad as it has been. I'm sorry, but this dress is like a no-go. Like it's really annoying, I just gotta say. And then I just go about, you know, daily business. Cause I've had people who are like, do night routine, do morning routine. And I'm just like, it's not worth a video, I promise. So <laughs> I'm gonna sit here, have my breakfast. Today is a Luna Bar Lemon Zest. So I'm excited to eat that and I'm just gonna do my notes. I am a little behind on schedule because I opened that package because that's normally something I would do like after priorities, but I really wanted to open it because I wanted to see if it worked. So for the first time I just so i'm about to have me some lunch i'm actually gonna have leftovers from yesterday this is something i've had before the fridge just made a really weird noise um <laughs> but yeah this is something i've had before so it's something special but I love this dress so much. Obviously from Torrent. Like I love how it fits. Love the color. The only thing I don't like is like this weird part. <laughs> it's just, it's weird, weird on my arms. A definite go-to for me is fajita chicken with potatoes. I usually use a baked potato, but this time I just did small ones. Once that's done, I put shredded cheese on it, melt it, and then once that's done, I put salsa and tapatio. Please just trust my word on this. It's really good. So I actually just went on to Kroger Marketplace and I scheduled a pickup for food because I'm just wanting to be 
like cautious, you know, at all times because I really am worried. So I'm just gonna cut the potatoes in half. I just don't really care for like big chunks of potato in my mouth. But yeah, if you guys, you know, can find ways to stay at home, obviously if you have to go to work, go to work, but like I almost regret going out to eat the other day, but it wasn't as bad. That's what I mean, like it's getting bad really quick. So I'm gonna put this in the microwave. You guys, I thought I was recording this whole time. <laughs> so I took it out of the microwave, added one third a cup of cheese, and now I'm gonna put it back in the microwave. So now that it is melted, salsa. This all is so explanatory, like, what am I doing? <laughs> and then tapatio. So my meal is complete. I'm literally so hungry because I just had that Luna bar like four hours ago. So I am pumped. I like to put away as much as I can before I actually eat. So I have an easy cleanup. So just, I want to say five hours ago, I was talking to you guys about how we're going to do Kroger pickup. It's, I want to say, you know, like 30 minutes away from us. Um, I definitely prefer going to Kroger. Love it there. And it's like funny that I just said that. It's also really funny that in the beginning of this vlog, which was from Monday or Tuesday, I don't remember. I was at Walmart showing you guys like sections of like little missing Lysols and things like that. That's nothing compared to what I'm showing you guys right now. Like literally that's the Kroger where I'm supposed to be getting groceries from. from. And I feel so bad for the workers. I feel so bad for anyone who like can't get food or things that they truly do need. Like we only have one thing of toilet paper. <laughs> like I'm gonna be honest, we're not part of those people who bought like millions of them. I just don't know what's going on. Like, I don't know if this is just like mass hysteria or if this is like for real. I just, I've never seen anything like this and I'm 29 years old. This is crazy. Who wants it? Oh my God, who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it? Go. Chubb's the one that time. <laughs> Usually it's Twinkie Store. Huh. Hey guys, welcome to a new day. So it is the next day. And I'm standing in front of an empty closet. You guys, I'm so excited because I've been the only one in the house without like a normal closet this whole time. <laughs> Cause this closet in the spare bedroom has been taken up. And I've had my clothes in the bathroom closet, which I have had to throw away some of my shirts because they've gotten kind of like moistured. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to throw away a lot of shirts again, which is kind of sad. It legit almost feels like I have my own room. Although like I literally don't, it's just the closet, but I'm super excited to like have a closet. I'm like so excited. I'm gonna hang my dresses in there and I'm gonna show you guys how my dresses and shirts are are right now. You guys, it's like a mayhem. It's it's crazy. So I'm gonna try working on a little bit of that today. So this is my bathroom and this is where I have been keeping my shirts and my cardigans and my sweaters. And it's just, I don't know, I feel like clothes should not be kept in such a dark, tight space, especially in a bathroom. And then over here, yikes. <laughs> Clean clothes, clean clothes, clean clothes. And then all these are my dresses. 
So I wanna turn this whole corner of the room into something different and I'm super excited. So are you guys ready for it? There we have it. Doesn't that just look so much better? I think it looks so freaking cute. I do wish I had a different chair because obviously I can't sit in that, but other people can and it's really cute. So this is actually the puzzle that Eric and I are doing now. That one's mine. That one's his. I am a little ahead, but isn't that so cute? And then him with a little hat, my goodness. I've been washing my hands like an actual mad woman. Obviously, we should all learn to wash our hands, but be extra, you know, cautious now. But I did wanna say, the reason why we're here in this moment in the bathroom, I have worn this dress before, but it was always super tight, like uncomfortably tight. But you guys, it's actually like, looking pretty freaking decent and i'm just wanting to share that moment weight loss very proud i'm really excited for my weigh-in that comes up on wednesday i'm hoping that i keep this momentum like i said february was a flop but i did really good in january december was a flop did really good in november did really good did really good in october so it's like my journey this journey, my successful journey, started in October and I weighed in at 571 and I was like a pound away from my heaviest and I was like, okay, I'm never gonna change if I don't change now. So it's just like, I was I was scared. Like I wanna keep living, I wanna be happy and I wanna do this thing. So that's when I was like, you know what? But I've had months where I have not done good and since then it's been December and February and mistakes happen, but we're doing good so far. And it's like, I don't want to downgrade the progress I have made. That is definitely not my intention at all in the slightest because I'm just like shocked at my strength right now. But anyways, I'm actually going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.